we like the way that the dark stuff is looking, so that's good. I do feel like this needs to be kind of like right up to the edge though. So I think um, that's where I want the path and this is where we want the bank. I feel like we have to pull this stuff back a little bit and maybe decide where the real height is gonna kick in. Because at some point these are gonna to have to start being like two high blocks. I mean, we'll just follow the pattern, but I'm thinking if we have to get rid of some of this, because hey, more sand is always good. So I'm thinking stuff like maybe it has to go too high. I mean, some places we can have one. I'm trying to figure out what the rule should be. You know, like where should we have, have it be one high and where it has to be two? Maybe if we just cut the corners. I know I could probably put just like a shell over this and light the underside of it, but I've got the blocks. I might as well just fill it in. You love a landscape, uh, a Joel landscape stream. Thanks. I find I, I get self-conscious with them because I find that I get caught up and I, I don't chat as much with the chat room when I'm doing landscape stuff. Uh, I mean, it's very, it's very similar to drawing for me. Like it's all about curves and, and the flow of everything. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. I like the idea of just cutting those corners. So I'm happy with it being lower under the bridge like this. But now I'm thinking like we have to go up another, another two blocks. I guess we should take a look at it from the other side too. Sort of just going at this randomly. I'm trying to figure out what would make the most sense in terms of the height.
Oh, cool. Thanks, Cosmic Dancer. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty cool. I'm a little concerned about this area. I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work, but we'll maybe sort that out. So the path is actually going to be a little bit farther uh, south. I think the path is going to end up being like kind of right where that that uh, divot is, this low-lying area. I think we're going to put that as the path because I think the path I want it to be like really close to the edge. Really steep embankment. There's a couple of, of banks like this along uh, the shore when I was hiking this summer. And it's a really cool feeling to be walking along a path that's just a couple feet from a rather steep, steep embankment. I quite liked it. Uh, so I feel like this is the level. We've only got to go up one more. So maybe at this point, it would be good to maybe play it safe and call this like the top. Side maybe somewhere along here will make it quite steep. I think maybe here. And then start to pull back. Maybe we should pop over to the other side and see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Now some of this will fill in because only the bottom row there is coarse dirt. Everything else is either dirt or grass. So this will start to fill in. That actually worked out quite well. I mean, it looks Minecrafty. It doesn't look perfect, but it's it's got a nice curve to it. And then have a path like right along the top there. Yeah. And that steep section makes sense too. Maybe you want to try and have a steep section here. But I don't know if that's going to make sense because the path is going to connect here. Actually, yeah, you know what? That might be okay. So I feel like if we do this, have this section be really steep. And then we can kind of go down from there. All right, need some more regular dirt. I do find this kind of stuff really satisfying when you're filling in large chunks of stuff. I can't remember who pointed it out, but they were right. I have to use the pick block feature a lot more. It works. My, my mouse, I've got it sorted out that my mouse, my middle mouse button will, will work for pick block, but I always forget to use it. Gonna sleep again. So I think this is gonna be a coarse dirt uh, path, but we may end up putting a little bit of gravel. Uh, but I wanna do that now. 
so we know where the edge of the path is. So all of this And I can refine this later, of course. I think this is where it's gonna go up a little bit of a hill. I like, I have to go back and look at the, um, the path by the wheat field, because I like what I did there. that's only I think that's only one block wide so it doesn't give a lot of room for detail let's go back this way stretch our legs a little bit and we're gonna go take a look at the path that's over there this is gonna get fixed too that's the other thing because I like this path but I don't necessarily know if that feels like the path that would go next to next to a sugarcane farm you know feels a little bit too refined we'll see So the one wide path that I'm talking about is this one. So this little, this little job here. So I think what I like so much about this is like the edge of the wheat. So we might try to put some farmland near what we're doing. And then, and maybe mix in some path, but it's gonna be tight. We could also use wood. I never thought about putting some wood down there. That might be kind of cool. We could see what kind of, what wood might look good with, uh, with the coarse dirt. I would imagine spruce, maybe dark oak. Should not be too hard to add something like that to the corner. I'm not sure what you mean. So I think what I want to do is I want to fill in this little water pond and um, I guess even this out and get we'll go through we know we don't need these ones some of those ones are going to leave for now so well maybe we'll put a couple of these down just just to kind of say like path continues that direction we can decide where we want to go after that. So that's a little bit straight, but we can mess with that. I do find sometimes when I place blocks really quickly on the server that I get a weird strobing effect. It definitely messes with my eyes. I don't know if you guys see that on stream or not. Sometimes I do wish I could go in and maybe um, reduce the noise from block placing. Like I don't, I don't know if there's a setting. Is there a setting for that? Music and sounds, blocks. Let's. There is a setting. Jeez, how long have I been playing this game? That's better. I just find that when it's the same block over and over again, it's really repetitive rates on me a little bit. I'm also dealing with some old busted headphones. I lost my earbuds and I'm using an old pair and there's no bass in these because they've they've had some water damage so it's very everything is very high on the treble side and this grass is like piercing my brain. There's been a random sheep hanging out in the trees just before the end of the path since last week. Where is that? Is it that way? Or is it over there? I know I saw a sheep. I don't remember where, though. Oh, we need some more grass. So 
So here's where I want to make sure that this path doesn't get too, too steep. So I like that. It's a little straight. So maybe we'll do two, one, two, three. That's a little bit better. Okay. So I feel like we can maybe push the path up to the edge. I'm not sure where we're going to leave. I'd say this is probably about where we're going to leave the approach to the bridge, even though some of this might change. Paranor, hello, hello. It's raining where you are. It's not raining here, but it's gray, which is no surprise. Yeah, so this, this part of the road, I think is going to stay it's certainly going to connect at this point, but I think we're going to, instead of being a straight line, I think it's going to curve out a little bit more this way. But at some point, this is going to be kind of like where we leave, you know, off in this direction to join the path. So I feel like we can probably bank on these being coarse dirt. Maybe not that one. I don't know if I'm going to take the course dirt like right up to the edge or not. I feel like maybe we don't do it right away. So maybe this is where it starts to come back. Ninny bird. I think I know who that is. I think that's Ninny. I think that's who I was hanging out with earlier. If so, please let me know. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Much appreciated. I need more coarse dirt. I think I'm gonna have to make some. It is Ninny, cool. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. I guess I should actually put down a crafting bench. That might prove handy. Uh, let's do this. This is my normal go-to setup like that. Nope, that is the wrong box. Which is the one that had the sugar cane in it? That one, right. I was thinking green for sugar cane. And my magpie here, uh, magpie tear is here too. Wow, I can't speak today, sorry. That was not the right. Was that the right? It was core start. Okay. So we are going to try and connect these two up. Well, thanks, Paranor. I'm glad that you like the gold farm. 
it was really it was a really cool thing to, to put together me and Matcast had a lot of fun with it so this is slowly starting to take shape here Kind of making it a little bit, a little bit fatter in places. I'm not sure if I like the green edge to it, but it sort of feels cool, like you're on the edge of something. This is awful straight, so maybe we need to do something here, push it out a little bit. Maybe this section here. Better we can just make it a little bit thicker here. Give it a little bit more of a curve. I'm not sure what we're going to do for lighting along here either. I haven't thought about like lamps and stuff. Probably just torches on sticks, I'd imagine. Suicide squid. Yeah, that happens a lot. Squid are weird in this game. Very, very weird. So I think, I think this is feeling pretty good. Let's turn this into coarse dirt as well. So this will be something where it kind of peels off in this direction. Don't know how much of this is going to be three wide, but we'll mess around. Yeah, there's some weird, weird positioning things happening. The bubble columns really mess with squid. Soul sand and squid, they don't know what to do. That's feeling pretty good. So let's see here. Maybe that. Two. So we'll, we'll spruce this up a little bit later, make it feel a little bit nicer. Like I feel like maybe these two could be grass. Straightens it a little about, straightens it a little bit, but wow, I can't speak today. Crazy. I do like the, um, do you like the footprint sound on dirt, like compared to grass? It gives you kind of like a rustic, rustic feel. So like it's two, two, two. I feel like here we have to start doing some ones. It's starting to get a little bit messy. going on here two two oh I see that's better sushi's on the menu oh now I'm hungry I'm having sausages for, for dinner tonight the most fun with mobs on half slabs yeah they they do really go wonky so i've got a couple ones two and then a one i feel like we need to start 
pushing this a little bit here. One, one, two, and then two, two, one, one. I feel like I'm reading a like binary code. And then we can get rid of these two. Yep. Coming together nicely. Not looking too too straight or uniform. Meaty ogre at best. I have to say that as more and more people stop by my Twitch chat, that the unique and hilarious usernames are abundant. Welcome. <laughs> We've got all kinds of really fun usernames. You're going to fit right in. <laughs> 1051 in the UK. Jeez. I keep on forgetting how big the time difference is. Uh, can someone in the chat hit, uh, hit me up with a stream uptime? Just so I know how long I've been going. Please and thank you. I forgot to check the time when I started. One hour and 31 minutes. Awesome. Probably only going to stream for another 30. Hello, Cole. Waste not, one not, as they say. I really don't know what happens to water holes like this if you just fill over them. I'd rather not have stuff spawning in them or having water updates, so I'm just going to fill this in. Wow, we're running low on dirt. We might have to go get some more. I'm liking this. I've not done a dirt path, so this is going to be pretty cool. Do want to fill this in. We're going to have to tear some of this back out again, I think, because some of the sugarcane farm is going to be low. I'm not sure where that spider is. There must be a cave underneath here. But I can hear him. never quite understood why Minecraft um, water holes generate like this. I always find them really odd looking. Okay, I think we'll probably just use grass. I'm not really too worried about it. I have an absolute ton of stuff elsewhere. I think maybe I'm going to do this just a little bit slower. My eyes are getting kind of messed up from the strobing. satisfying feeling of filling in a hole. Now this top layer is probably going to get cut back a little bit, but that's fine. Because essentially what I want to have happen is I want the road to be raised on both sides. So really a lot of the stuff that I just filled in is probably going to get ripped out again, but it just kind of gives us a clean line And what we're looking at here. I guess I can probably take this down too, can I? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of water holes between here and the village over there. Like, look at all this. There's all these little crevices and crooks and crannies and stuff. So that's looking pretty good. 
a little bit square here, but I can fine tune it when I do the actual texture work, but that's not looking too bad. I think, I think, hmm, as much as I like it there, I think we might push, might push this, the up swing of it to be over there. I think that might look better. I'll do that now before I forget. 